Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Economist and of course today we are going to continue our study of the theory of demand by looking at the measurement across measurement of cross elasticity of demand. Okay? All right, so I've looked at cross elasticity of demand in the last episode. Now I want to look at what measurements. Okay, so do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 School Jam CBT practice application. Okay, if you want to pass your Jam exam at once, say you have made a position that I cannot write Jam twice or I've written before and I did not pass. This time I want to pass. Get the application on your app immediately now. You do not have the luxury of time to what to play with. Okay, so we'll talk about the app in a moment. Let us see a Jam pass question from the application. I'm putting my app right here on my phone. Uh, Economist 2000, year 2000, number seven. It says, use the information below to answer this question. So when commodity S sold for 25 Naira per unit, 50 units of commodity Y were purchased. With an increase in the price of commodity S to 15 Naira per unit, the demand for the commodity Y fell to 20 units. They say determine the cross elasticity of demand. A 1.7, B 0 0.6, C 0 point, minus 0 0.6, D minus 1.7. All right, so we'll come back to this question and answer it at the end of the class, not before, because um, we want to give you value. If you let us teach you, let us show you what the workings, and then we can answer questions together. That's how you read naturally. So please download the application. It has all the past questions you need for all the subjects in one application. As a classroom feature with lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus with a very, very good AI tutor. And then what's more is that what there's a question search feature where you can search for question according to topic, just like the way we've sought for that topic, uh, that question just now we just saw. And likewise, we have the mock challenge on the app, the UTME challenge. Every Saturday morning by 10 a.m., you wake up in the morning after you have studied for the week, you participate in the mock. Okay, this mock will span from uh from the for, up to the one up to one week to your main jam exam. So every Saturday mock, every Saturday mock, every Saturday mock. But sitting many mocks on the application. Okay, so please in that mock you get to jump past question, jump likely exam question. Familiarize yourself with how jam set question. Okay, some of you say jam does not repeat past question. They do because it's you that do not understand how they what they set their question. All right, so please jump on the application, download it, activate it. Activation fee. It's not even up to the price of rice and chicken in the good restaurant. So please ensure you join in immediately. Now, let us look at measurement of cross elasticity of demand. Okay, so we said that what well, that EXY represents cross elasticity of demand with what EXY, where we say that what EXY is what percentage will change. Okay, in what quantity demanded of a commodity commodity x or y okay all over what now percentage change in price of a related commodity okay so this is how what we define what uh, uh mathematically cross elasticity of demand okay percentage change in uh quantity demanded of a commodity x or y all right to percentage change in price of related commodity okay either y or what or x anyone you are what representing it with okay so it's as simple as a b c okay so now so you can also say y can also say what x that just letter i can also say a you can say b okay so you can also say b or you can also say a okay so long you understand the concept of what of this what expression all right excuse me so now let us uh look at this what is percentage change in quantity demanded percentage change in quantity uh, in quantity demanded, okay, just like the way we have been doing it from measurement of income and price elasticity is what new quantity demanded minus what initial quantity demanded all over what now all over what initial quantity demanded times what times hundred percent the same way okay also percentage change in price the same way okay uh new price new price minus initial price all over initial price then times what 
hundred percent. Simple as ABC. Okay, so this is how we to look forward for percentage change in quantity demanded and percentage change in what in price. So what do we do? We take a question. We use what to look forward for the word for the word for the answer. So that, so that what E X Y now is percentage change in quantity demanded. Okay, E X Y. E X Y is what percentage change in quantity demanded. Okay, of a good Y. All over what now percentage change in price of a related commodity. What now X? Okay, so simple. Let us now take a question from the other school jump up a jump pass question. We want to use real jump pass question to to explain the class so that you understand it better. How jump got to set that question. So now let us see. Since we have this formula on our head. There's also a shortcut formula which I'll show you while we are what we are solving. Okay, let us take this off now. Take the question. It is being shown on your screen. They said the question we read at the beginning. Now they say use the information below to answer this question. So when commodity X sold for 25 naira per unit, okay, 50 units of commodity Y were purchased. Okay, so then uh, with increase in the price of commodity X to 50 naira, the demand for commodity Y fell to 50 units. So let us let us focus on quantity demanded first. Okay, for quantity demanded, all right, initial quantity, initial quantity demanded is what? What is the first quantity? When S sold of 50 naira, 50 units were what? Were, was demanded. 50 units of Y was what was demanded. Now, uh, with uh, increase to 50 naira, how many units were demanded for, for Y? 20 units. So, new, new quantity demanded is what? It's 20 units. Units. So, we can calculate the percentage change change in what? Quantity demanded. That is what now? New minus what? Old. That is 20 minus 50 over what now? Initial, which is what? 50. Then times what? 100. Okay, 100%. So, this give up minus 30. 20 minus 50 is minus 30 over what? 50. Then times what? 100 what percent? Okay, so 0 cancel 0. Uh, this will give up 5 year 1. 5 year 20. This will give up minus 60 percent okay the negative sign there showing us that what that there's a what there's a fall okay there's a decrease in the demand for what for that goods okay there's no way somebody will have minus 60 what uh, quantity demanded okay there's a fall in what in what in the demand for that what commodity and that's why ultimately after we have solved we do not what take what the value but it enables us to know to understand that what there's a fall or there's a rise depending on the sign okay so now let us see the price now for price, initial price, initial price was what, 25 naira? Hope you are seeing it from the question. Okay, then what, uh, new price, new price is what, 50 naira? Okay, so now, what is now our percentage change in price? A percentage change in price will be what now? New minus what initial? That is 50 naira minus 25 naira over what now? Initial, this is our 25 naira, then times 100%. 50 minus 25 is what? It's 25, then over what now? 25 times 100%. 25 will cancel 25. What you have here is what? 100%. Now, what is now our, our cross elasticity or demand, our EXY? We say it's percentage change. In quantity demanded of a commodity, what, why? All over what now? Percentage change in what? In price of what? Of X. Okay? So what's our percentage change in quantity demanded of Y? It's what? Minus 60%. Okay? Then what is the percentage change in price? It's what? It's 100. Okay? Percent. Percentage will cancel percentage. Zero will cancel zero. Six over 10 is what? 0 0.6. Okay? Actually, there's a minus here. That is minus 0 0.12. Minus 0 0.6. Okay? But of course... Uh, which we, what we will ignore the what the sign okay we we'll take the absolute value so our, our correct answer there will what will be zero point what zero point six all right so please take note of that let us see uh nineteen ninety four number twenty four they says cross elasticity of demand can be mathematically expressed as the a they say percentage change in the quantity demanded of x over percentage change in the quantity demanded of commodity y. Okay, B say percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in price. C say percentage change in quantity demanded of commodity X. Okay, over percentage change in price of commodity Y. D says percentage change in quantity demanded 
over percent change in income. Okay, for cross elasticity, we talk about percentage change in quantity demanded to what percent change in what in price. Okay, so A is very wrong because it's not quantity demanded and quantity demanded. No, B is also wrong because it's not just quantity demanded and what and, uh, and percentage change in price because they are what. A, a commodity and another related commodity is supposed to be a commodity and another related commodity. So C says percentage change in, uh, in quantity demanded of commodity X over percentage change in price of commodity Y. Correct answer is option C. All right, so please, there are so many more questions on this application. Download the app, okay? Study, practice, and what see yourself succeeding. My name is Master T. I am the Grand Commander of the OTD Schools Army. Okay, as soldiers in this army, Keep forging ahead. You need to succeed. So you must study to show yourself approved. See you in the next class.